This is Frank Goss with SGTV. By chance and by design, one arrived in California when there were still square riggers and wagons, the other with jet travel and rockets into space. One voice in color, one in black and white. One early in the 20th century, the other at the start of the 21st. One a painter, one a photographer, one female, one male. Both preservationists, both lovers of California, both passionate about the wilds of the open desert, both interested in seeing the state's historic landmarks preserved. Orpha Klinker apprenticed with the great landscape painter Anna Hills and the desert enthusiast Paula Ritz. Her early formal studies were at UCLA and finally at Academies Julian and Colorosi in Paris. Bill Dewey started at UC Davis then on to the Rochester Institute of Technology, and finally, Santa Barbara's own Brooks Institute. When asked who his principal influences were, he cites painters, not photographers. He worked with modernist Howard Warshaw and studied with Wayne Thiebaud, whom he credits for his theories of visualization. But he saves strongest recollection for legendary landscape painter Ray Strong, who preached the underlying issues of California's broad landscape. Clinker set the agenda for this project. The gallery acquired 34 of her documentary oils and watercolors. 24 locations were identified and photographed. This exhibit features these works side by side. These paintings and a special edition of silver gelatin photographs by Dewey are offered as a single lot. Each Dewey image is also offered in an ultra-chrome numbered and hand-signed edition. The remaining clinker images, some of which you have just seen, are offered individually and are not part of the exhibition featuring the following. Slaughter Adobe, Corona, home of General Vallejo, Sonoma, Castro Adobe, San Juan Batista, Ramirez Adobe, Los Nietos, La Casa de Miguel Blanco, San Marino, Old Pico House, Los Angeles, Mission Dolores, San Francisco, Camulus Adobe, Piru, Rancho San Antonio, Downey, La Casa de la Guerra, Santa Barbara, Andreas Pico Adobe, San Fernando, The Old Fort, San Francisco, Casa de Vincente Lugo, Los Angeles, Casa de Adobe with the Southwest Museum, Old Adobe at North Broadway, Los Angeles, Casa Santa Cruz, North Broadway, Los Angeles, El Alisal, Los Angeles, Old Adobe, San Juan Capistrano, Capistrano Adobe, La Puente Workman Adobe, Los Cerritos, Rancho Los Alamitos Adobe, El Palacio de Don Abel Stearns, Los Angeles, first commercial building in San Fernando. Perhaps Clinker succeeded in a way other than she'd hoped. The only known artworks of the last two historic structures are by her. With respect to the Stern's adobe, there is only a copy of the daguerreotype from which she painted. It is said that the more things change, the more they remain the same. Not so for old California. This exhibit, side by side, clearly shows that bits and pieces of the simpler, slower, calmer world, the true California that Dewey talks about, are slowly being lost to the dynamism of the 21st century.